Before we start the episode, we have some really, really, really big news that we're excited to share. Months A in the making. A lot of preparation to get to where we are, and we have something very huge that we're going to be announcing at the end of this month. It's going to be uh, game-changing. G- game to stop. <laughs> and we, we are doing a new show, and it's coming out at the end of this month. And we're that- very excited to share it with you guys. It's... Uh, it's a huge deal for us. So yeah, and that's very, all we're going to say because we don't say too um, much. But we're really excited, and it's happening in the end of this month, like for sure, 100%. It's been months in preparation, months of planning. And we're very excited to put it out there and share it with you guys. Yeah, and a lot of big things coming the end of February. We got another thing coming on February, which is my Zila Fitness documentary ow, ow! that comes out February 20th on the Zila channel. Um, that also we've been working months uh, to prepare and we are finally here. Um, this is the end of the road on my fitness journey. Actually not the end, but like I will continue, but this is for the doc, the end of the journey. And I cannot wait for you guys to see that it has been hell and a roller coaster of emotions. Um, make sure to tune in, make sure to tune in uh, a lot of, a lot of things happening in February and we cannot wait to show you guys. All right. You ready to jump into it? Let's do it. We're going to get right into the intro because why not? Mm. Come mm. on, baby. Crack it. I already cracked it. Oh. It's open, baby. Thanks for waiting. It's coming time, baby. Let's go. Hey. How you like me now? Welcome back to Zane and Heath Unfiltered, baby. I'm Zane. I'm Heath. I'm Matt. I'm Mariah. And we are all unfiltered. That's right, baby. All the time, baby. Welcome back on a Monday slash Tuesday morning. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Hope you're having a good exercise, having a good workout. Hope you're having a good work day. I don't know what the hell you're doing right now, but I hope you're enjoying yourself while listening to this. Jordan. I'm just going to have Jordan, Jordan just dial he him just down. Dial it down. Yeah. Uh-oh. It's just like so crispy where it's like the put in the t- in the... C- it's like all it's like poppy. Oh, it's okay. poppy. Yeah. Okay. It's not like not audibly poppy. It's just we're we're learning. We just got new mics. That's if right. You, you probably hearing a little change in the audio. We got these beautiful mics, mm. color coordinated. Heath got a gold one. Yeah, come on, I now. got an orange one. Heath wanted a gold one. He just <laughs> wanted to be the it fit the vibe. It fits his jewelry. Yeah, that's true. It does. I liked red for Shirley Temple. Heath was also just a. A lot more expensive than the rest of the mics. It was not a lot more expensive. He wanted to be the Chanel of the mics, and we're just going to give him that. Yeah, we're going to give sure. him that. Yeah. It was $50 more. Is it is it real gold? <laughs> like, why do they have to make it more expensive? It's a different finish. Because there's, there's, there's more into it. You got you to gotta get the metal is going. Is it real gotta, gold? No. Then painted. why is it, why is it got to be more expensive? It's easier to paint something orange than it is to go through a chemical wash process to get the... You know, you, you know. Do you think your hand's it. gonna turn like green, like a fake yeah, ring? Yeah, imagine, right? <laughs> I think they just know the consumer behavior of somebody who wants to buy something. They gold. go, we could. They're willing to pay a little bit extra just because. Yeah, it's if somebody gold. wants a gold yeah. toilet, they're gonna be like, it's they got finish. money, they want it's that. It's a finish. Yeah. yeah, I'm not wearing my wedding ring. Why? We we were all thinking it. I thought something happened. Uh, no, 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 <laughs> nothing has happened. I, I just took a shower before he came, and I left it on the kitchen. You know, wait, or I thought the you're. I, I thought you a lot of shower with your wedding ring on. I don't. I don't. I think I need to still wear it like longer. I, I maybe I should start sleeping with it. I don't know. Sometimes I just like it off me. Is it because it's it's real that it doesn't like rust under yeah, water? Yeah, I think so. I just don't like the odds of it slipping away. I don't mm. know. Mm, like a down I, the drain scenario. Yeah, and like and also I'm like washing my hair. I like to. I worried about it snagging on something. I just feel like you're being unfaithful in the shower in some way. Listen, Patricia, she doesn't shower with her wedding ring on. Do you shower with your wedding ring on? Yeah, I do. Uh, oh damn! <laughs> okay. I've never taken it off. Oh wow! Mariah's actually her hand is outside everything. of the shower when she's. <laughs> <laughs> she is committed and loyal. I'm doing construction with it. <laughs> I am. Um, um, I know we've been going through some insane weather. It's been brutal. Flooding out the wazoo in this city. Oh, it's, I was worried for people. I I just feel like our planet is just constantly like on a juice cleanse. <laughs> it's just cleansing this city. And I'm just seeing Carl's. Like, have you seen the videos of? It's. I don't see it bad anywhere near us. I. It's just like. It's just. A San, lot Diego, of water. San Diego got really bad. Yeah. It's so bad. And it, I'm just surprised it's not here because I feel like we're like built to have c- total destruction oh. for weather like that. I don't realize how big mudslides like can oh, happen yeah. out there in the hills. I like, always just thought it was a drink. No, no a <laughs> mudslide. That's, that's, that's a, all my mom would get on vacation. She'd let me get a mudslide. Ooh, a mudslide. Is that like a bushwhacker? 
A what? A bushwhacker? I thought a mudslide was like a dessert, like with the gummy worms in there. and like No, the that's a cup of dirt, baby. Oh, God. oh I love that. <laughs> the TGI Friday's oh, cup of dirt. Oh, my God. Heath. It was like pudding with Oreo crumbles and then like a gummy worm. Oh. That was good. Oh. No, a mudslide. Yeah. What is it? Kahlua, chocolate. It's just like oh my what God. your mom that- would drink. Oh yeah, a mudslide. Hey, I think we you made want, like, some a of those one time. Oh yeah, we did on oh, the, the Big Bear trip. trip. Yeah. yeah, the Kahlua trip. Um, but he Bush- got a fancy schmancy brand deal at Kahlua, okay. and we went to Big Bear and made some <laughs> mudslides. Yeah, so it's when you want to get drunk off a milkshake. That's okay. all. Okay, but a bushwhacker is similar to that, but it's more like frozen. It's like mm. borderline. Like I think it's almost like an icy. Oh, it's more like a, uh, and, a frappe. Yes, just like that. Ca- just like that. Catch me. Remember, remember I know. Cheesecake, Cheesecake Factory. Factory. The, the monkey, the, cho- mo- the chocolate monkey, or the monkey, the chocolate monko. Oh, they don't have it anymore. Cho- I don't know if they have it anymore. But Heath and I would get what? destroyed. Slam. Off the thing those. Is, it would it would take you like four of them, and then you're just downing four but, extra no, large but chocolate Heath, milkshakes. Every time, every time they'd bring us another one, they would spike it even more because they knew we were enjoying ourselves. I think they were looking off our calories. Yeah, because they don't, they don't, they don't, um, you don't get drunk at Cheesecake, but when they see people are like getting, <laughs> oh, getting get get drunk, they're like, this is fun. Yeah. Let's take care of our Let customers. Me help out a bit. Yeah. <laughs> I kind of want to go there with the flying when gorilla. Oh boy, that's what uh, it was. The flying gorilla. Guys, when you go to Cheesecake, get the flying gorilla. Is and that get like, it extra spiked? Is that a like Wizard of Oz reference? Or no, it's a flying monkey. Right? I don't Maybe. know. That'll make you feel like you're in the Wizard of Oz. So. <laughs> but yeah, do me a favor, Matt. If you go to Cheesecake Fa- Factory ever again, it used to be such a hot spot. Mm. Why don't people go there anymore? I think I feel like it's still like good quality. It still is. No, you know why? Because it's always in malls now, and nobody wants to go to a there's, mall there's to go a to a restaurant. There's a standalone in Pasadena that's really nice. Yeah, but that's like all the way in Pasadena. Imagine it was right on like right on the street. Yeah, we'd be there. We'd be there all the time. I love Cheesecake Factory. So good. It's such a, a bl- vibe. It's such a blend of uh, like design elements. Yeah. Like it has this like Mediterranean vibe, but with these Russian turrets. <laughs> Super Vegasy. Greek. Did it, didn't someone say the inside of a Cheesecake Factory just looks like the inside of a girl's vagina? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like you're just walking, you're like, wow. Oh. <laughs> and like by the time you leave, like the cheesecakes are such an afterthought. Yeah. Like it's like you didn't even come there for the cheesecake. They're like. And that's how they get you, right? Because everyone's like, well, we have to try the cheesecake. <laughs> so you're just, that's another, another I just thing love on. the restaurants that everybody can win. Uh, if if nobody everybody. knows what they want, you know cheesecake is a good option because yeah. there's something for everybody. And that's, and that's how I describe Whenever I go to a restaurant and the menu is so, just so big and so large, I go, oh, so they got a cheesecake factory menu. Mm-hmm. Like they, like it's cheesecake factory owns the, like the, the market of just having a 10 page menu and you have just, they have everything. Mm-hmm. Did they ever switch Boy, their out? overhead has to be insane. Like what they're, how like, does a waiter in, memorize that menu? Oh, my brother did. Yeah. That's it's, like a dissertation when they bring that out. You yeah. should my bro, So my brother worked at the sister company of cheesecake factory. It was called, um, do you remember the one in Sawgrass mall? I don't. It's, it, it was pretty much, it looked just like Cheesecake Factory, but it was another restaurant. It was like a sister company. And my brother had to re- memorize this packet this Grand Lux. thick. Grand Lux. Yep. This thick. And my brother would get so stressed out every night because he, he literally had to memorize it. And th- you can't screw up. No. You need to know everything front and back of all down the menu. to the ingredients too it's yeah. not just the name of the dish because someone's like i don't want tomatoes in that and you'd be exactly. like sure and you're like is there even tomatoes in it yeah, yeah. and the bad thing about these uh, this restaurant was that because it was in sawgrass mall and the amount of tourists that went in that mall nobody ever tipped so my brother would work his ass off at this place and it's, a, it's, a, it's a big like it's a tourist, tourist spot. spot for like foreigners. So when, when foreigners come into America, they're not, they, they're not used to tipping. And a lot of them, they know that they, they know that they can get away with pretending that they don't, they don't need to tip in America that because to, yeah, that has, to yeah, be, yeah, there's a lot, there's a lot of people, like a lot of stories of people online talking about how like mm-hmm. it's, it, it's not a, like a restaurants that have a big tourist, um, a cl- like, customer base it's you just might as well not work there because you're just not going to make any money from tip because you make they make a lot of the money from tip right but he would make no money he'd walk over he'd walk out like 20 bucks in tips because he'd get like 250 an hour two dollars and 50 cents an hour so he just quit it's he quit so, after two it's months so crazy what about you know pizza places like Domino's? when they're rolling up is that Domino's's car or is that a guy who works for Domino's? and does Domino's pay for that gas or like 
Good question. I, oh, it's, and there's a domino, like a, a random car with a Domino's like uh, light. Yeah. On. Like, is that is that Domino's car? One Domino's. If those are your cars, upgrade them. That you start. You're <laughs> still on. driving around a 1995 Honda. Accord. Why is it always like an, a, a blue Accord a that's beater. like a 1996? Like it's always those cars. Yeah. I've never seen. I've never seen like a. Yeah. Let's get them in. Let's get them in like a so like a nice, nice. F one fifty or something. Yeah. Throw the pizza in the back. Little Pizza Planet car or Come something. On. You just yeah. make it fun. Get them a Bronco. Because then I'm like, is that tip having to go to the gas? Because hopefully Domino's is paying for it. I would imagine. Okay, good. But uh, yeah, pizza guys though, man. Shout out to pizza guys. Just delivery men. There was yeah, a point in my delivery life. Delivery people too. There like, was a point in my life where I really wanted to be a pizza delivery driver. I just thought it was such a cool job. Yeah. Because this is a bit. This was before like Uber and before all that. So my head was like, it's so cool. You get to just drive around for work and you just smell pizza all day. And you have like and that leather like. The, I, I've the always leather, the, the red leather yes. briefcase. Can I touch it? Like, give, give me it. Like, it's all just hot and warm. I want to smell the inside of it. The like, most satisfying when you would see them start to unzip it as they're bringing the front of it's popping open. Yeah. Wow. Good times. Like, childhood pizza delivery, because we didn't do it often. My dad was always the person, like, I'll go pick it up. Yeah, but when we would go to my grandparents' house, they'd be like, "Let's just get it delivered." Oh, and and, 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 and you guys were you guys were uh, it was big budget night. Yeah, like when you're doing like, delivery, it's like, oh, we got money, we got paid this week. It's like, okay, okay, we're doing good. Yeah, yeah. what I love, but about, but the tip would always be like, they'd be like, here, go give him a tip, and I remember walking over with like two dollars. Yeah, but like I guess at the time, two dollars was a a good tip. Well, yeah, because pizza was eight dollars. Yeah, that's true. That is true. I know, like in Home Alone, when he like. It says all the whole order and how much the pizza order is. You're like, that's how much that pizza was back then? Even though it's a lot. But, uh, oh, what was I thinking about Domino's? What I love about Domino's is the little tracker. Like, oh, it's in the yeah. oven. Oh, we're doing a quality check on it. Like, is that all like a guesstimate? Or is there <laughs> no, really like no, a No, no, I don't sensor? think it's actually, I think like they take that, a time and then they just yeah, play around with that the That would app require somebody it. to be punching a button in. Quality yeah. check right now. I... I, I I just want to give a shout out to Domino's how far they've come. I I don't know if we talked about this last podcast. Maybe it was uh, the unwind, but shout out to Domino's for really coming back strong. Yeah. with the quality of their mm -hmm. pizza, mm, that crunchy thin crust. It's insane, and they you know they make a thick one now. They make a thick one like Pizza Hut. You know how Pizza Hut has like the thick one. Oh. I love it. like the Pizza Hut Express one. Give me oh that. Oh my give me that. god, no. it's my favorite pizza. I don't to claim eat. this. Cheese crust. <laughs> I wish the cheese crust was like a consistent thing. The what, like, what do you mean the cheese crust? The cheese stuffed crust. I, I've never. I don't. I've never had cheese stuffed crust. It's too much. It's a the whole rim. I'm already is a, getting the, the, the ninety percent is already cheese. Why do I want cheese? The whole rim is a mozzarella crust? stick. Yeah. It's like. Get a side of mozzarella I'm sticks good. if you want that I'm so good. bad. I want my I like my breadsticks with no no cheese in it. Why? Just too but much. But then I also feel really stupid ordering a side of breadsticks or like cheesy bread and then dipping it in marinara. Sorry, bub. Marana. Marana. Uh, but it's literally like, let me get a pizza with a side of deconstructed pizza <laughs> that I'm gonna make on my own on the side. It doesn't make any sense. Yeah. Yeah. You know how people make um uh homemade cakes? Or like, you know, little little insert. Sorry, I'm sure you want to answer like that. Two back to back. I, calls yeah, you've gotten a lot of calls. You sure you want people. you want to answer that? I feel like someone would text me and be like, "Call me now." Yeah, I've always had that like fear. Like you know, people that go disconnect. If you're without your phone, you're fine. But I'm always like, but what if something bad happens? It's not like it's I need so to be true, connected though. on social media. I just want to know if like last night it was eight o'clock and Zane got a call from his dad. Can I say this? Yeah. Oh, Zane got a call from his dad and he looked at it, but we were like talk, like discussing something and he was like, oh, I'll call him back later. And I was like, no, maybe answer it because it's 11 o'clock over there. Right. So my dad like, never oh, calls. He was like, he was like, yeah, my, you're right. My dad never calls. So he called him back right away. And his dad was like, I'm in Vegas. I'm going to the Super Bowl. Super Bowl. Like, and he was like, fuck. that's why you called me. <laughs> <laughs> my, because my dad thought I was going to the Super Bowl uh, this week, which is weird because I never like... I never told him I was going to the Super Bowl. He just like assumed I was going. I feel and what sucks, what sucks is that normally when there's a big event happening, you know, usually we'll go if like we get invited to a thing or two. Just coincidentally, I've been invited to like six, seven different parties r r like surrounding the Super Bowl. So I'm just like, I'm so close to finishing this <laughs> fitness journey. I'm just like, I, I can't. That's, oh, that uh. sucks. And then- the, the second my dad is like, oh, I'm going to the Super Bowl. I'm working with the Chiefs. I'm like, you got to be kidding me. What are the because odds? If, if I was there, my dad could have easily 
got me in. Your dad's cool, to see man. the game. Just selfie with Sorry. Taylor. It just it just sucks. It just sucks how much I've like how much opportunity I've lost yeah. because of the stupid, <laughs> stupid it's shit gonna be worth that it. I've been. I know. You're I so know. that's that's a very. Sh- I know you don't want to hear it, but like you're very strong to like turn it down <laughs> because of this journey. <laughs> also, you could do these things and just be good. Yeah. No. The, I, the, why? Why would I want to go to Vegas Super Bowl six parties and? Not eat anything I want to eat or drink anything I want to drink. <laughs> like, what's the fun in that? It's possible. It's it's not fun though. Well, it, fun but it's, it's easy for you, you to say because like you don't do it anymore. But I did, and I had to get through it. I know, but you don't drink anymore. It's not like you're you drink again and now you like portion control. You you've co- quit it completely, so it's easy coming from you. But you got it. What do you mean I got it? You could do it. No, I can't. I'd have to have a drink at the Super Bowl. Yeah, big fat Bud Light. I don't even know what's going on on the field. I just know that we're all on the same page. Do you still got to wait in the line at the Super Bowl? I'm saying, like, if, you're, you paying, if you're paying that much money. <laughs> yeah. Dude, I like, don't want to be like, li- I got to go wait. The lines, yeah, the, the, it's even it's even worse. I bet now, no, they, they figured out, like, the, the new age concessions where it's like you go and pick it up and then you check out at a different time. I don't know. I, I've been to a few games recently. It's still It's still bad. like, like lines don't, and like a whole process. They d- unless they make more kiosk and more bars, I just don't think there's a better way to do it that where you're able to monitor everything. Because even ordering on the app and then going up, like that can get really messy too. Because like, what are you show? You're showing like a... ID. Yeah. I don't know. Get messy. But um, yeah, so my dad is uh, in Vegas and he's going to... Have fun at the Super Bowl while I'm doing app crunches. What does he do for the Chiefs when he's there? Just make sure like it's, all of their people get their tickets. And so what my dad does, he's a very like a, he's a freelancer, right? So he waits for emails to come in for different companies, like chaperone companies and companies that they need help with, like moving a group of people to a certain place. And it's it's people that you see when you imagine when you go to a game and you just see like random people in collared shirts. Kind of maneuvering people, but you know they don't work at the stadium. Okay, it's those type of people. It's like a brand liaison that it's kind like a of classy like, bodyguard. Yeah, you're like yeah, you're it's, the, it's, escorts the brand to like do certain things at a time and make sure like the itinerary is running. He's like Miss Ungermeyer in the Lizzie yeah. McGuire movie. But man, those people. Ugh, that was a good job when I worked my dad on that, and I only got it because my dad. You went to the strings. Olympics, right? Yeah. I was I was getting paid like for me back then like 20 25 bucks an hour. Woo! So good. And I got to like and it was at 5 hour minimum, right? So mm-hmm. you have to get paid for 5 hours if you work even only 1 hour, which were which they were days. Did you have a headset like No, no, it wasn't like that. It just it, it's a clipboard. That oh. was our thing was oh. a clipboard. That you mean business. You business, check stuff yeah. Off. Nothing mm-hmm. was on the phone. Everything was like you had to write everything down. Check, check, check. They're here, check, check. Like nothing was electronic okay. because it's easier to like flip through pages and make sure that everybody was like there. And oof, when like you miss somebody, if there was somebody that got off a flight and they got they had to call a taxi and they didn't get onto the shuttle that like That was on you? Woo! Oh yeah. Oh, like you had to, because it's your job to like really catch them because these people are like, a lot of these people are just very like on the go. They got a lot of money and they don't want to be sitting around waiting around, you know, but like their company paid a lot of money to get, to get for their clients, for their clients or for their workers to be treated well. Yeah. And treated well is making sure they get on the vehicle that you paid for Mm -hmm. and getting to the destination in a timely manner. Did you know what they looked like before time? Like, did you get headshots? No, no headshots. Did you have to have to stand in an airport? Yeah. So you hold their, you hold their company, uh, their brand logo and you just hope that they come up to you, which they normally do 99% of the time. They'll come up to you and you check their name. But I've always wanted to pull that move like in big fat liar where they land and then they just go up to uh, the guy who's holding like a sign for like that fancy person yeah goes, yep that's us yeah. like because i feel like they never even like check anytime i've been yeah, there's no up. like id verification or anything like that. never ask for an id yeah at all before we continue we want to give a big thank you to our sponsor of this podcast shopify hey baby heath you hear that uh-huh yeah that's the sound of another sale on shopify and the moment another business dream becomes a reality and shopify is the commerce platform revolutionizing millions of businesses worldwide So whether you're selling coffee, perfume, clothes, slime, sour gummies, Mm. like I see all the time, Shopify simplifies selling online and in person so you can focus on successfully growing your business. And Shopify covers every sales channel from in-person POS system to an all-in-one e-commerce platform. It even lets you sell across social media market like TikTok, Mm. Facebook, and Instagram. 
and packed with industry-leading tools ready to ignite your growth, Shopify gives you complete control over your business and your brand without having to learn any new skills in design or code, which is great for someone like me because I do not understand any of that. And thanks to 24-7 help and an extensive business course library, Shopify is there to support your success every step of the way. Exactly. Every minute, new sellers around the world are revolutionizing their businesses and making their first sales with Shopify. And once you start selling, Shopify makes getting paid simple by instantly accepting every time of payment. And now it's your turn to get serious about selling and try Shopify today. And this is Possibility Powered by Shopify, baby. As you guys know, Heath and I have a coffee company called Cremota. Mm-hmm. And of course, when we made the business, we were like, where should we go to start the business? And Shopify was the exact place that we went to. And it's so easy. Their system is just so easy to use. You can navigate, you can check your analytics, you can check what products are selling the most. It's just super, super easy and convenient to use. And it's so nice too, because when Heath and I need to look for all the sizes, whenever we want to drop merch, whenever we want to do anything, we're able to look at what flavors people like the most or what sizes people wear the most. We have all the information right on Shopify and it puts it right there for you. It's it's perfect. It's the best way to get to know your customers even more. So if you want to be like Heath and I and run a business professionally, mm. make sure to sign up for a $1 per month trial period at shopify.com slash unfiltered, all lowercase. Again, all you have to do is go to shopify.com slash unfiltered to take your business to the next level. One more time so you don't forget that shopify.com slash unfiltered. Thank you so much, Shopify, for sponsoring this podcast and helping Zane and I start our very own business. Success. What else? Oh, haven't been getting sleep for two the past few days because... The electricity went out in this. By the way, our boxes are good, right? Yeah. Okay. I did. Yeah, it, it just hit me though. But uh, electricity has, has been going in and out of this house for like the past three days because of the floods. And um, there's something that went off in the in my closet in the attic where it's just beep beep beep, and and it's it won't like stop. It's been going. It's off still for going the past on two days. But like I don't want like I can't go up there and like. Reroute, reroute wires because I just have no business being up there. You doing don't know that. what it's coming from, though. It's not a smoke it, alarm. It's definitely monoxide. coming from some sort of box that's attached to maybe like one of the planks. Or that it might ha- be your securities system too. I don't in know. the oh maybe, but it's something. It's or it something could be technical. a flood, or it could be a flood detector too. If it detects a flood a leak, warning, or like no, it detects a leak. Like it once it mm-hmm. senses moisture, it like goes off. Could be an amber alert. Mm. <laughs> is there any statistics that show how how much Amber Alerts have helped? Yeah. Find? For sure. Seven in every 10 no Amber way. Alert cases, children are successfully reunited. Oh, Whoa. wow. That's great. That's insane. I did not think it was that high. Because of the alert or just it went out, but they still ended 17% up? 17% for- of cases, the recovery is a direct result of the Amber Alert. That's amazing. We need to make the Amber Alert movie. That's like, I'd watch that. Like, you yeah. know, they were making the Beanie Baby yeah. movie. We're making the Blackberry movie. Amber Alert like, how movie. How did that come about? Well, I guess it would be kind of sad. It starts on a sad note, and then it slowly progresses to the good of Amber Alert. All right, are they are they changing up the story a little bit to make it more interesting? Did they find the Marines in that helicopter that went down yesterday? Oh. They, they died? Yeah. Wait, oh, I, I haven't shit. heard this yet. What happened? Um, there was a... It was one of those like intense military helicopters that were carrying like five Marines from Vegas to go to that. San Diego, and it went down in like South California, no. um, in like a very remote side of California, and it went missing. They just realized it didn't show back up to base, and yeah. they were like, "Where is it? How are you not in communication? Yeah, is there not a GPS on a military grade helicopter? That doesn't make any sense. I feel like there's not there's no GPS on a lot of just vehicles in general, though." I guess so. Once like something crashes, you have to have like, and yeah. don't they not have it on everything because it, it can be intercepted by other? No, but like your base would have to have communication with your own military helicopter coming in and like checking communication. On it. I get, but but I mean they're probably communi- trying to communicate with them and nobody was responding. That's I mean that's probably how they. Oh man! Out of all out of all the Marines or like the is I know there's like a the few the, diffi- the difficulty level. What's the Marines are the, would be the considered the highest, or is it like the Navy SEALs? I think um, Navy well, SEALs like have more rigorous training. Rigor- yeah, that's there, right. But then there's also, you know, you have Army Rangers, which is like the top of the Army. You've got the Navy SEALs. You've got... Color Guard. Air Force. Color Guard. You've, <laughs> I, you've got I, JROTC. I'll be, yeah, I'd be in JROTC. <laughs> Save you. Flipping that up and then just catching that. <laughs> uh, color guard. I'm on like color guard TikTok sometimes, and because I'm just so fascinated how those people can just throw a gun. Which one? 
wild how that became a thing because but guns are supposed wide. to be really respected. Yeah, you need to always have your hand on it. Had the safety on, and then one guy one day someone was like, <laughs> "Higher!" <laughs> They're like, "Do it again! Do it but again!" Why, but why been, do we need to in, in, incorporate that in training? Like throwing guns in the air like a baton? It's more of like a, it's a you show. Know, like the, I sent the the choir, the Navy choir was singing. There's a band for like the Navy, the Army, all of that. Yeah. It's their extracurricular. So, but it's a gun. <laughs> like, yo, that is like a weapon. But the guns that they use, though, it looks all white. It looks like they. Uh, it's like wooden. It's, like it's probably plastic. plastic. Yeah. It's probably balanced outright to catch it. Yeah, look at that. There's like not even a handle on there. There's no, it's just like no the, bar- it's just they a, got a sniper scope on it though. Like, <laughs> <laughs> oh god! But they they never bring out the ribbons like in Cat at Kelly though, or that was like kind of their. their uh, move at the I end. think that was just. I think that was just in Kid at Kelly. Did you ever see Major Pain? Uh, oh, with one of the the Wayans brothers. Yes, and he that, has like a lisp that doesn't hold up. Right, that is <laughs> one of the best funniest movies, and they have like the whole color guard type thing like performance at the end and tiger is just like up there dancing and like they're all doing the stuff <laughs> hold on <laughs> oh man i loved that movie god what a great opportunity i wish imagine being a kid and getting a like a role like that where it's you don't really have to do much acting it's just like a performance give me a performance in a movie like i can do that, that. was orlando brown no it no, wasn't it wasn't it was oh, Little Tiger. My. That didn't even look like him. Wow. wow. Wait, are you sure? It says right here. Oh, tiger. Yeah, wow. Little Tiger. Wow, that was Orlando Brown. Have you seen him on uh, the internet lately? Ooh. I never know. He's if been he's, a big big yapper. I never know <laughs> if he's doing better or I, like I, it's a really bad clip. I don't a long know. Time I don't ago. know if he's like doing bits or not, too. Like, you know how we like freak out and it's like, uh, he, like, you know the people that are just manic? Yeah. I don't know if it's like a bit. And. I'm seeing a lot of these type of people on the internet just like being manic and I don't know if it's real or not. I'm just glad that I'm a little like little media literate where I can see something. And yeah, I we're good at it. We see it all the time. So we know it's fake Dude, There's some guy was talking about boomers on Facebook and how much they're believing AI stuff. It's like, crazy. I've seen stuff like that too, where it'll be like your parents and grandparents will be like, don't believe everything you see on the internet, but then they'll repost like an AI sunset <laughs> yes! from like a different yes! guy and be like, this is the most beautiful thing. And you're like, you're the one telling me not like, to clearly. Yeah, posting it like this is the most clearly the AI. Sh- I the can't, sh- oh, this is unbelievable. They made an igloo that looks like the Sistine Chapel. It's <laughs> Matt, I got hit up by a photographer. Oh my I gosh. I got hit up by a photographer. I gotta show you this. I went to his page. Every picture is AI. Straight AI. Like all the like the people that are posing for the pictures. Wait, a photographer was putting AI a photo- So a photographer's p- Instagram page, every picture was a, it was an AI. And he was posting it like it was Like he was photo- a photographer, which is crazy. But like, imagine how many people is getting because there's people that just believe. Oh, we're that, doomed. But they're like, they weren't even good. Like, you, you know, just like the. Yeah. Like those pictures. It was really funny. I feel like I need. Yeah. I wonder. I'm so curious if my parents could like identify an AI image. Just yeah. like what's real, what's AI. Yeah. I think they Has could. anybody used the Vision Pro yet? Uh, no. no. Have you? I have not. David has I know, it. I, I know. You I guys- just, I, I had not cared to like put that thing on my head at all. I mm-hmm. just haven't, but I know that they play around with it like every day. They, they are having a lot of fun with it. It's crazy seeing people uh, recording people that have it in public and they're just walking around. And I, just like- so I think, I think that's staged. I think every single one of those clips are staged. Cause I saw one with like a YouTuber. So they they put that like, the, you know, the conspiracy sound. There was, I saw one of those videos and in the, in the compilation, they're putting YouTubers that were making videos of them walking around with Vision Pro. Yeah. I was like, oh, obviously this is, these are all just clips from different. So I didn't, like, I honestly no, don't there's, believe there's definitely that people, like, people are walking like, around yeah, with it but, on. Like, if we go to New York right now, I won't probably see one person with a Vision Pro on their head. Like, I touched, just I touched one. I went into the Apple is store. It, how was the, how was the wait? Um, well, the thing is, it was already, like, uh, on this, like, mount. Like, you can't pick it up. But, oh. you know, it's out, like, the iPhones and stuff. But you have to book an appointment in the back you went to, to the try. Apple store i just popped in because i could see a whole row of them and i just went up to like touch the quality of it yeah um the front feels like really nice it feels like an apple product the back like the mesh and stuff it does look like it's nice quality but you'd like you think it'd be a little bit better yeah because i I was like i do like that it looks like ski like really cool ski goggles which mm -hmm. is like makes me want to 
try them on. It's just crazy that this is like the first iteration of it, and it's only going to get crazier Better. and smaller. I'm surprised that they didn't all like. They're probably they probably did this intentionally, like go smaller and smaller with like the the goggles because the bigger the goggles, people just get like sick of it. Like it gets yeah. very uncomfortable. But I'm sure every every uh, pro, like if they, the Pro Two, Pro Three, Pro Four, it's going to get smaller and smaller and smaller, just so they have like Jordan, something to. Jordan look and to. I were talking about it. like it's going to be to the point where like that replaces the phone, the, the and that's lens. all you're that's all you're going to need is that, and you're going to carry around something like this that would be your battery pack, mm -hmm. and you're not going to need your phone anymore. This would just be like a battery in your pocket, and you would just be wearing the glasses you think all day. It could replace a phone at some point because the there, there would be so no there would be no point to have a phone. Like you can watch everything in there. You can call. You can text. I, you can do everything that your phone does. I bet certain like I bet certain like job industries will like really take advantage of it. You know, like the way like also iPads are like the new like that's the new clipboard basically yeah. is the iPad. Like I don't know, like how surgeons could be like looking at that, seeing all the diagnostics yeah. and stuff. Like there's going to be like jobs where like they really need it. Yeah. Um, to me, that makes sense. Or somebody that's like running an event. And they are always on the go. Like they have to make sure everybody's multitasking. Doing multitasking. I think those will come in handy a lot. I was with people uh, like that. Like or can wedding, you imagine that? wedding like planner. A, mm -hmm. Like them an running I, around. I, with like a wedding plan at your damn wedding. You have this person just like she's, <laughs> yeah, but like like alpha. the amount of stuff she's getting done with that thing on. It could, I, it I did could be. see uh, a photographer that had it hooked up. So instead of you know a photographer will shoot and then it'll send to oh. another thing. He was taking the picture and it would be displaying the latest one so he could shoot and see. As opposed to it popping up on a monitor that you have to like walk through and like cycle. That's genius. But Whoa. the thing is that he, it needs to be thin enough where he can like look at what he's taking picture instead of just like blindly taking it. You know what I mean? Yeah, that would yeah. kind of suck. But like if you're able can to like you, it and then see it like immediately, that's. Can you sync up on it? Like, like if we're all in it, can we like start moving stuff around? Not in together? somebody else's. Uh, see. I'm sure if there's a going to be a setting for like close proximity if you like say yes where we could be like okay let's put this up here and I'll look at this yeah or they'll just one day attach missiles to it and you look at somebody <laughs> tracking destroy oh why does it have to be a whole headset why can't it be like sunglasses I think because they want to get there like they, have, they start they yeah. start big and then they have something to work towards I bet your ears can even support like the weight people yeah. are saying it's very front heavy yeah it's like a pound. Your brain, it's your head lot. is not used to having something that heavy, like, on your head. People's necks are going <laughs> to... But honestly, Mariah, like, I think because of how well it is, like, look at how... The technology that they put into this, I think they just really needed it into something that big to start. Mm -hmm. It's just, it's only going to get smaller. I, it reminds me, if they do, like, sunglasses or regular glasses, it reminds me of when you're in, like, a really expensive, fancy car. Yeah, the heads-up display. The heads-up display when it shows the um, speed limit mm -hmm. up and how fast you're going. Like, it'll be like that. Yeah. And I think the heads-up display in the future is going to have, like, is going to point to, like, if you're on a highway and it splits, it's going to have an arrow, like, which direction. You, they they kind of have that. Right now, like, it's very Mercedes came out with the augmented reality version. So it'll, it shows you in the distance. It will be able to make it look like your pinpoints up ahead. And as you're getting closer to it, it's going to, it shows you. And it actually turns it's, your wheels. What? No, <laughs> no. it doesn't. <laughs> uh, but yeah, no, it's really crazy there. So it's uh, in their new uh, electric car, for, uh, the EQS or whatever it is. Oh. Um, but basically it's a whole augmented reality. It'll show you the name of the place that's popped up. It'll be a pin and it tells you and the arrows will bend as you're taking the, the corners and everything That's what like I that. imagined it. You. Or like I imagined them like highlighting the street to follow. Click, click like, the remember one on the right. Cool. Before we continue, we want to give a big thank you to our next sponsor of this podcast, ZocDoc. All right. So you know when you get cornered by that aunt at a family gathering and you feel like you have to bend the truth. Mm -hmm. You know the one that asks when you're going to get married, when you're going to move out of your parents' basement, when are you going to get that promotion, mm -hmm. when you're going to get married, when you're going to get a girlfriend, mm. when you're going to get a girlfriend, when, when you're going to get, get a girlfriend. girlfriend. <laughs> Only for her not to really listen and just judge you. While you may have to grin and bear with it with your family, you shouldn't feel that way when you're talking to your doctor about that rash that weirdly looks like your high school crush that mm. you maybe eat pizza one too many times with or, or something else. Well, we have the place for you. We got ZocDoc now, the place where you can find and book doctors who will make you feel comfortable and actually listen to you. And we're not talking about a few. We're talking about tens of thousands of doctors with all verified patient reviews so you can make sure the vibes are vibing 
happen before you meet in real life. And with ZocDoc, you've got more options than you know. And when it comes to treating yourself, look, I do this all the time. I I do this all the time. Every time I think I have something, I'll look it up mm -hmm. and I'll just diagnose myself. Oh, I'll, yeah. I'll treat myself like, oh, this is what I have. And then I'll just do what I feel like I need to do instead of just going to a place like ZocDoc mm -hmm. where they have like professionals that can tell you exactly what you need to do. Exactly. And to be honest, I've been putting off seeing a doctor for literally years after I moved out here. And it wasn't until I signed up for ZocDoc that I saw just how easy it was to schedule somebody. And it's got all the different prompts. It lets you know what's coming up that you need to get checked off your list, whether you got to go see your primary, go to the dentist, get your eyes checked. It, it's it's all right there in the app and it's just so convenient. And once you're on ZocDoc, you find the doc that you want and you can book them immediately. No more waiting awkwardly on hold with a receptionist. It's super quick too. The typical wait time to see a doctor booked on ZocDoc is between just 24 to 72 hours. That's it. And sometimes you can even score same day appointments. So look, end the questioning yourself, trying to figure out what you got going on. Just go to ZocDoc because baby, we use it and we trust it with our life. And again, ZocDoc is a free app and website where you can search and compare highly rated in-network doctors near you and instantly book appointments with them online. Exactly. So make sure to go to ZocDoc.com slash Zane and Heath and download the ZocDoc app for free. Then find and book a top rated doctor today. That's ZocDoc.com slash Zane and Heath. Thank you so much, ZocDoc, for sponsoring today's episode. We love you, and thank you for taking care of us and our bodies. What's one moment from Japan that you always think about from our trip? Um, us getting held hostage at the, the <laughs> gate <laughs> <laughs> from, like, Japan police what, and what then not believing what us. What an insane thing that actually happened. Like, pe pe like you guys probably thought that we <laughs> genuinely just, we were just drawn. It was like luck of the draw, like, our ticket just never came out. They, they held us for an hour, took the machine apart. We're searching for our cards to prove that we had this JR pass. Finally, they find the ones or whatever. And then the names don't match who we are. I was missing. Like I had yours. She had yours. But the way they were treating it was like, it's never happened before. Yeah. And it's like, no, it did happen. Oh my. That was crazy. Where they had to like, it wasn't like, oh, one second. It was like, no, we have to. We you're, have to hold you here. You have no, this to is stay. like this is this your is like this a, is your fault. You're you're messing with us and you're trying to steal for like yeah, it they was thought we were trying to pull a fast intense one. Intense moment, yeah. Yeah, you have breached national security. Uh -huh. You yeah. are a threat. Imagine being in Japanese jail. I've never been in jail before, but like I'm just in J Japan jail. That'd be that'd be fucking awesome. No, being arrested in a different country is scary. That would be, and you don't understand anything. Oh my god, jail in another <laughs> language is like. Top tier punishment. Like you trying to find a hospital that can like take you in another country. That was so. Imagine just trying to get out of jail. They're you like did, telling you to like get out of the room, like it's time to get up, and you don't understand it. So then they think you're being like a bad prisoner, and then they like. <laughs> and you think the USNBC gives a shit mm -hmm. about you? Think they're gonna take the time to hit you up about a ticket that didn't come out from the other side of the station? Yeah, we have a no, Zane Hajazi that's stuck screwed. there. Ain't nobody calling for you. Screwed. Burst. But why do I feel like Japanese prison would be so clean and nice? Oh yeah! Oh my god! And the 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 bento, the bento boxes. <laughs> you know they're getting. You good. know that shit's good. <laughs> you know that it's top quality. Heath, when we're at the train station, there are bento boxes that were just sitting literally in the shelves. In I the know kiosks. It's pretty crazy the concept of prison. Like that's time out for life. Yeah, <laughs> like you are you are in adult time out for a very long time. Isn't it cra like? It's crazy whenever I see like a case where somebody is somebody gets a good deal, right? But they have to go to prison for like four or five years. That is crazy. Four to five years in jail. Yeah. Like, bro, that is, that is a good section of your life just gone, but it's a good deal. You better take that deal. And that situation <laughs> haunts me. Just imagine having to choose that as a good deal. Four oh years. My God. Or like if you like di actually didn't do the crime and you have to take a plea deal and plead guilty to get a lower sentence because you're like, I'm screwed either way. I might as well try to get the, oh the last Oh my God. Dude. That's why like, that's why even when it comes to like, like money, like taxes and stuff, like I refuse to try to like work around it. I'm just way too scared. It's just not worth it. Oh, the yeah. IRS will come knocking. Uh -huh. Yeah, but there's people, there's people that beat it. There's people that worked their way around it. Like it's, it happens. It happens they do the until they get caught. It's just, 
It's just so scary. It's just so scary. And like the power that they have. Yeah, didn't Wesley, you know jail. the actor Wesley Snipes, yeah. the guy who played Blade, like Blade 1, Blade 2. Martha the, Stewart. The vampire hunter. Well, like Martha Stewart was insider trading. Still went to prison though. Uh, house arrest. And oh, I maybe, thought she actually went to. Oh, maybe like for like I a thought week she did or two time. and like a high Insider facility. trading to me is so interesting. It's so interesting. Like, why is it like, why is it illegal? It's It's almost like then don't have stocks then. But because you're, you but can, then that's what makes it like unethical is that you knew about that the business was going. But to the do thing is that somebody somebody knows about it though. Uh, yes, but you're. Uh, it's such a weird line. Like, where's the line to insider trading? But then that's unfair to all the other shareholders. That absolutely, someone, and I get that. But like, because. So, and I'm not. I'm you, not like. I, I'm not. I'm not for for these people. I don't, I have. No, I don't know anything about stocks. I don't know anything about that world, but like to me, it just feels like the thing is that people are going to always know. That's why yeah, I say that a if I ever got go convicted of something, I think it would be insider trading because it's just if someone easy... told me that I had like millions and millions and it was going to something was going to happen tomorrow, and, and you're going to lose it all, you should you should sell now before you. But uh, what if lose you don't it? even get a lot of information? They just said you should put, put your money into this stock, which happens all the time. And then like, that's considered, it. but that's now insider the trading. Thing is, insider trading happens all the time. The thing is, is when you get caught, that's like the issue. Like they can trace down to the phone calls and they can see who bought it. And they go weird. Do any of these people who just randomly have to, to sell their stocks do, is there any connection between them? And suddenly they figure out, wait, this guy was in the same fraternity as this guy at college. Yeah. And they happen to play at the same golf course with Baba, this Baba, you guy. would love that job. Just like, <laughs> oh, I'd, be, I'd just be so good at it. <laughs> there was a oh kid. My, me and Jordan together? Forget it. <laughs> this no, guy, you'd be putting the wrong people This guy job. shops at Trader Joe's uh. all the time. And this person's a cashier at Trader Joe's. So I, do that in, I just do that in general. If we're out to dinner, I'm, I'm already figuring out the people next to me for no reason. Imagine he. <laughs> has a group of friends I can't imagine they're <laughs> all insider trading and then it gets to heath but heath does not give me any more information than you should put your money into this stock you should he has to say you like the stock you can't legally say but you he guys said, should no, go buy this he stock. says it to me verbally oh this is not through text this is not through phone call they they, they do assume so if it's like so I'm gonna, I, if I do something and then you do something immediately and there's no text or call record of it, they go, okay, well, they're best friends. Obviously, he told them to do this. Oh, so I'm so I'm going yeah. to jail too. And it, well, you to have me, to have a good defense. You have to have a good defense. You have to show them that you did enough like why research. You did it, exactly. You, you were following the trends and you were following the market and they have to have evidence of <laughs> that. <laughs> Zay, Zay, Zane trying to explain <laughs> him. Me. I, the thing is, I don't know anything about the stock market. I just do whatever, like in that world, I'll do whatever somebody tells me. Yeah. Oh, and they go, <laughs> <laughs> boy, we lost our boy, ass. We lost. Boy. We lost. I'm so My whole ass was cut <laughs> off. Pete, I'll never forget where you were like, you like bought, we were talking about you like, I'm going back in. I'm buying more. Like you were like whipping out your car because you were like, I got to get back in it. I just remember that one day we were all silent. Yeah, we didn't talk. We were silent all working out because we lost everything. <laughs> I lost four hundred dollars on. We those. lost so much and money. And what was so stupid was just... like you couldn't do it from your phone. And I remember I was on the golf course and we got a call that it was like plummeting. And I remember being like, I can't even sell it. I can't. And it was just like, well, when I get home, we'll see what it's at. Yeah, that's the toughest. Gone. That's the toughest with like stocks is like it's going down, but you're like. But maybe in the future, some random day, it'll come back up. And, and it does. And that's why I that's why I personally don't do any anything like that. Like I don't like try to I don't do involve myself in like crypto. Or I'm stock. so glad we I, never got into NFTs. When they started having NFT I always parties lose. in LA and they're like, Are you getting minted tonight? I, 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 I was like, This is fucked. Matt, I just felt this so I I felt I had FOMO for some reason. I was like, oh, everybody's doing it. I feel like That's I have what, to Yeah, that it was the pressure. Yeah, the pressure of everybody. And we, minting we got invited and, to a minted party. They're like and we, we walked in, they were like, oh, have you minted yet? And I'm like, yeah, it's like we're getting what, baptized. What are you like, talking about? You found God tonight? Like, are you getting minted? <laughs> I remember I didn't even get minted. It felt like, so culty. Like I, it felt and like And they would a, like cheers you and be like, Woo, everyone he just minted. Look yeah, at his NFT. Yeah. It's like this robotic like Matt, painting. And, I and then you would Heath pose I, with your <laughs> Matt, I remember Heath and I leaving so stressed out because we we <laughs> were you? like, this is now the new thing and we just have no idea. Yeah. 
Yeah, every NFT I got, I have like four NFTs, all were given to me for free. Like it's uh-huh. okay. okay. And everyone Flex? who has an NFT though, like they're worth nothing now. It's yeah. completely obsolete. Crazy. I don't know what Gary Vaynerchuk is doing with all of that. I'm sure he so- he pumped the price up and sold it all. I so wonder what his main source of income is. Speaking. Yeah. I, he, oh, yes. Do you think that's his main his source me- of income? His media, his media uh, <laughs> agency is worth like billions of dollars. Yeah. People, I mean, Gary Vayner Media is huge, huge. Mm-hmm. But his whole like V Friends thing, I mean, I've gone to VCon, I've got invited. But all right. Yeah. But that stuff, I'm always Go just off, like, King. you're giving me all this stuff, but I'm like, what am I doing with it? Yeah. But. Uh, yeah, the NFT little phase was wild. Mariah, you ever minted? Mint no. Mariah. Minty Mariah. <laughs> Mint by Mariah. Mint to be. <laughs> no, I'm not. I don't even know what that means. <laughs> you, guys, you guys are huge crypto people like, uh, at your wedding. <laughs> the theme is Mint to be. Mint to be. Just a giant holographic <laughs> crypto. Uh, you have your own crypt like Bitcoin for the wedding guests, so people have to like. <laughs> oh yeah, you already know people did that for sure. Oh, absolutely. There's like a QR code for people to scan to get those. Uh, what were they? Board apes. Oh. <laughs> that shit was. Is this I, even English? What are we talking about? I remember looking <laughs> at the frig? board apes and I was just like, <laughs> Why are people paying two hundred and fifty thousand dollars for this? Hey, they still are. Right? Is I think, Isn't it still like a big thing? I think like board it's, still, the, it's still worth it. Th- well, I think no. people are trying to make board apes have their value because uh. people bought them for so much money and they're like, what am I doing? I need to do something with this. I need to like- Touch try grass. To, try to make it- <laughs> Matt, what's You want to do mo- something, go outside. What's the most amount of money? You don't have to say that price. What's the most amount, m- amount of money you ever spent where you're just like, what a waste. Like just what a waste of my money and time. Something that you lost money on? Yeah. We've already said ours, but- what was I'm ours? Just curious. Oh, Hoge. Hoge. Yeah, yeah, that was our biggest. Oh, Hoge. Okay, so like a <laughs> stock purchase? No, no, not like... stock. Just like anything. I'm just curious. Oh, well, like one time I bought a reservation. It's happened to me two times. Like <laughs> reservations at a hotel that are non-refundable. <laughs> and you're like, I just bought a five-night stay. And it's why and are, you didn't go? Why, are, why is any hotel room non-refundable? That makes no sense to me. They have thousands of rooms in one building. It How- depends on what you're booking. But apparently, I didn't know this, you just reschedule the booking to another day and oh. you keep doing that. Keep rescheduling it and pushing it to hopefully the day you do do that. I didn't know that. And I just let that money burn. One time when I went to Niagara Falls, I booked it on the Canada side thinking, oh, during COVID times, I could just walk into fucking Canada. No. And they were like, sorry, goodbye to that. Those were times where I was just like, I can't do anything about it. You can keep rescheduling it. That's a good idea. Um, All right. I don't know. I've never had like a huge loss on like a stock, probably like a couple hundred dollars on like a few yeah. things here and there. But the, I, I guess the, 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 I, I was wondering not stock. Is I wish stock? I withdrew most of my doge at its peak, peak, peak mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. because I bought 50. I don't know. I feel like I said this story a couple times. I bought like $50 worth of doge <laughs> in July of 2020 just for fun, because I saw some TikTok that was like, you could own, th- these are like fractions of a you cent. You millions I was like, of these. Fuck it, 50 bucks, we'll see. Doge, yeah. it sounds funny. And then it turned into like $5,000. Wow. And then, Wait, your 50 turned into 5,000? 5, 5,000. Wow. And then at the, at the peak, I withdrew 1,000, and I was like, ooh, that okay, that was an easy 1,000, but I should let the rest ride. And now it's gone down to like, I don't know, $800. It's still a big win. Still That's a big a win. It's win. one of my like best random buys, mm-hmm. but- I'm the same way, I guess, until I start getting a little bit of liquored up. Every I'm really so every like <laughs> when I when I did the uh, all the Bitcoin and everything, uh-huh. and like I bought all that, it was when I was wasted. Ooh. Every every time I ever did something like that, I was like drunk, and I heard something. I was like, let's just do it. Oof. And then I ended up buying like four Bitcoin, and then the price dropped Jeez. completely for like a long time, and it finally came back up. Okay, to, it was for years when it was like. Under it hit like thirty four thousand, like, and then it was under twenty. Uh, tw- it was at sixty something, and then it dropped yeah. to like sixteen. And I was like, "Oh, this is bad." And then I just, I just held on to it because I was like, "I, let's just see." And then I finally got back up to where I bought it at, and I pulled it out, and I was like, "Never again." Oh, there is one thing about Bitcoin that kind of drives me nuts. Well, I don't know if I could legally say this. Well, I don't know. I don't say care. It. Let's just say I was buying. You had to buy something on the internet via Bitcoin, like yeah. uh, I. 
but that was back then when Bitcoin was like nothing. Yeah, it, was it was like a couple hundred that's dollars. How it was, that's how it was. In so the, I had yeah. to set up a wallet, buy You the bought Bitcoin. prostitutes with Bitcoin? No, <laughs> I, let's just say it was some identification. <laughs> oh. And I was buying it for somebody else. Oh, okay. And I had to buy it through Bitcoin, but I spent the rest of the Bitcoin on that thing, but I still had a fraction of that Bitcoin in a wallet. But I thought, fuck Bitcoin, I'm never going to use it. Don't know where that wallet information is at all, but I bet it's worth like what it was, like probably fifty dollars. It was probably worth now like a couple thousand. Mm-hmm. Oh, of that. Ah, uh, but it's gone. But I'm like, hey, whatever. But I can't. Yeah. I tried to find it through emails and stuff. I can't find it. As, as uh, unless you don't have that code, you're it's pretty <laughs> impossible. And I right? also think the site that like held my wallet, my digital coin went wallet, under. went under. So it's like gone. I wonder how much money. Uh, Bitcoin. What's that? What was that app again? Oh, Coinbase. 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 Uh, I guess it's not Coinbase. I just wonder how much Bitcoin was able to retrieve back from people you that can't. just never. You can't retrieve it back. Oh, you can't. It, there's no like it's limit just gone. on. <clears throat> it doesn't expire. Like no. Matt's two thousand is still sitting somewhere, and it's just, it's just not. it will always sit in that wallet for. It eternity. has to at some point just. No. No. Because that's what it would. So it would it's, it's, it's the equivalent of like having gold that got lost. The gold will sit there forever until somebody either retrieves it or it's just never found. Mm. Mm. Did I tell y'all about this art, like good influences set? Uh, no. So I've always I've seen clips of other people's podcasts. I'm like, oh, they record there. They record there. One day I was scrolling on TikTok and I see a porn star. Like I'm a cultured guy, I could recognize public figures. <laughs> I was like, oh my gosh, this is on TikTok. Yeah. One, I'm like, whoa. And she's just, in the studio. She's in the studio getting interviewed. And I was like, what is this? Oh, this is like a porn podcast where a guy's just interviewing porn kinda, stars. Kind of like the uh, the uh, the jumper one. Yes. Okay. Just like that. Yeah, and yeah. I was like, oh, okay. This is interesting. That's all right. And then one day driving back from the studio, I was like, I'm going to just turn this on Spotify. Play it like two times it's speed. The, it's the couch that he sits on. Zane, <laughs> hold your horses. I'm getting to it. I'm listening to it at like two times speed. They're like, blah, 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 talking like interviewing the porn star. And they go, oh, by the way, guys, we just shot a POV blowjob right here. So guys, make sure to subscribe to our OnlyFans where you can see the full video. And I'm like, are they talking about like they just filmed it right then and there in that spot? <laughs> so, and I'm like driving, hearing this. And I'm like, te- I'm like calling good influences. We're like texting. And, you know, Aaron, she's Miss OnlyFans. She's like, I'm going to look this up. Subscribes to the thing because she knows how to work yeah. that website. She realizes there have been all of these porn scenes going on. In your set. And dude, I'm talking bear, bear cooch on the couch. A, 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 a gang bang, that's man. Cr- that's crazy. I wish I could show you. I'll show you guys the photos if you want to see. We were mortified. <laughs> mortified. I, like it, It's like a horror movie where someone like buys like a new house and they're like, ooh, what are these VHS <laughs> tapes? And it's just people getting killed right there in the living room. Was it like, the exact uh, chairs? And- yes. <laughs> Dude. And you had no idea. They no didn't disclose idea. that. Just comfy on these seats every day. The you know mic covers right up to our faces. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Zane, I wish I could. <laughs> Matt's just sitting there, just and you know, and, and, and <laughs> we were mortified. That's really oh. funny. Oh, Zane, I gotta hold on. I'll show you. We obviously will. You show me after. Okay. Oh my god! I'm but, dying. dude, it was. Oh my Did you guys god. pay for the furniture and like the set, or was no, it just it like just, it came with it? We trusted it, <laughs> and it was just like. <gasps> ugh. Oh but then we god. like still felt responsible to like I don't know. Are we gonna <clears throat> change? We had to like shop for a new. I, place. I, are you gonna I get think, like plastic? Or you said you got a new set. Uh, we did get a new set. Matt, yes. I think ish. They should ha- they should have um been transparent with you on that. Like. I don't. I, you can show me after. You can show oh. me after. You can show me after. But they should have. They should have been more transparent with you about that. I think that's. A, you have every right as just a, as a as a podcast show to like know that if you're the seat that you're sitting in is being. You, they're um, not deep like, cleaning that. Oh after. yeah, no, was, they're they're not. Like if it was different furniture that they brought in yeah. for it, I think I would have been fine. Yeah. Like, uh, is your logo up in the background? <laughs> no, because it's like TVs. They changed the logo yeah, for yeah. whatever podcast it is. But it was just the intimacy of what was going on <laughs> to the seats we were on. 
Dude, I was like, <sighs> that's bad. That's really, um, that's really funny. Yeah. That's really funny. Before we continue, we want to give a big thank you to our next sponsor of this podcast, Rocket Money. I got a question for you, baby. Hit me. Do you ever feel like money is just flying out of your account and you have no idea where it's going? Uh-huh. Well, catch this. It's all those subscriptions. Think about it. Between streaming services, fitness apps, delivery services, parenting apps, it's endless. We're guilty of this, so we use Rocket Money to help us find out what subscriptions I'm actually spending on. Sorry, I can't say subscriptions. And let me tell you, it is eye-opening, and we canceled the ones we didn't want anymore. It's so easy. It's one click of a button. And the way Rocket Money sets it up is so perfect. You can see all your subscriptions in one place, and if you see something you don't want, you can cancel it with a tap and never have to get on the phone with customer service. Check it out. They'll even try to get you a refund for the last couple of months of your wasted money and negotiate to lower your bills for you by up to 20%. All you have to do is take a picture of your bill and Rocket Money takes care of the rest. I've talked about this before. I have so many editing apps, like photo editing apps on my phone that I pay yearly for, monthly for, and I like never use it. And it's been like years. And Rocket Money was able to find all of them, even the apps that are fully deleted, like deleted, not on my phone anymore, but, but I'm you're still, still paying monthly mm-hmm. for it. And these apps are not like, they don't exist anymore. So they're just like pulling money out of your account and there's no way for you to get back on the app because it doesn't and exist And they don't anymore. send you emails saying, you just got charged exactly. they try to keep it on the low they want to steal your money they probably make so much money doing that but rocket money takes care of that baby wax it right in the neck nip it in the bud exactly rocket money has over 5 million users and has helped save its members an average of 720 dollars a year with over 500 million dollars in canceled subscriptions so stop wasting money on the things you don't use and cancel your unwanted subscriptions by going to rocketmoney.com slash unfiltered again that's rocketmoney.com slash unfiltered thank you rocket money for sponsoring this podcast and saving literally everybody so much money literally literally 720 dollars a month literally 500 something million dollars wow you guys both went to um uh, teresa caputo you know who teresa caputo is the medium Long yeah Island medium. They, they went to a they went to see her the other night did she have like an event or it was a like a little intimate event at the langham hotel did she have a new show coming out i feel like yeah. i saw a billboard yeah new it's uh on lifetime it's called raising spirits so they did like this little intimate I don't even know how we got invited, why we were there. It was like people invited. And so we thought maybe we'd know some people showing up, but it was all um, TCA members. Yeah. Television critic. I looked it up. Television Critic Association. Something like that. And all people that had to be like in the industry of like television stuff. And like, I think we were the only influencers there. What network is it? Lifetime. Oh, it's on Lifetime. Patricia and I got invited to something too. And we felt like we were the only like influencers there. And everyone there were movie yeah. critics. Because during the thing, they would be writing down notes Interesting. and stuff. I think they were all journalists. But go on. Um, but yeah, it was at the Langham. And it was probably like, what? Maybe 75 people? Not even? Yeah, it was pretty. It was in like a cool loungy area. And, you know, we know the Langham inside and out because Zane mm-hmm. sent me for my birthday. Oh, so we, Langham was so nice. Yeah. Um, so we were comfortable there. It was really nice. But this was like, <laughs> this sounds so stupid. This was like my dream night. It was mm-hmm. my dream come true showing up here. Um, they had like a whole pasta station before she got started. Mm-hmm. And they basically just talked about the new show coming out, other shows coming out on Lifetime. And then... Um, she just got right into her reading and oh, just she walking yeah. through the tables where we're all sitting and was reading people as she's like walking through. Oh, I love being and ju- read. Just before, Wild. before we explain a little bit, just a disclaimer, we did not get read. I didn't, I, I don't want like a build up and then nothing happened, but we did. Obviously we discussed it afterwards. She by you guys. She was like <laughs> negative um, auras. We did discuss it afterwards and obviously it would have been really nice to be read and have our loved yeah. ones come through. That's uh, everybody hopes for that. Yeah. But we left and we were at peace with it because we realized how many people needed it more than us. Yeah. Like the like, people that she did read. We it like, was wow, like she, they she was channeling. It was like suicides, murders, like Un, uh, uh, unfinished stories like mysterious I don't know it was just like it was so sad but so did the people she read were they like were they even like they were welcoming it or were they like so she does immediately like what the fuck well she had this whole spiel in the beginning and she was just like she obviously can't choose who she goes to it's just she's led to certain people but if you are open minded if you're open to it if you're closed off she's not going to really approach you. And she can tell who's nervous and who's not. 
So she'll kind of like shy away from it. But then if she really feels like there's a message, she'll like turn around and come back to that person. But she'll give them a second to like gather their thoughts. But there was a, most, a lot of people that she read were not supposed to be there that night. And it's just like, Weird. just so like there was a woman that she read and she like beelined for her. But this woman just walked in off the street. Like she saw the banners and I just walked she, she, in. I don't think she was supposed to be there. She was just like, she was, cause everybody, like, no, 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 no. It was like, like, she has such a nice balance between finding humor and like making these jokes and having like comedic relief and really giving these people closure. That's what she what explained. She, she, she has that big hair, right? Big blonde hair. Is she just yeah. hiding like a headpiece back <laughs> Hi, there? Like she has a whole satellite. Hide in secrets. The She's higher not. the hair, the closer to God. <laughs> There's so a she vision does. pro under that. Just like <laughs> scanning everybody. Um, I just love her because she... She's just so... Re like it wasn't performative at all. Now I've... The only time we've been in contact with like a medium was the guy from Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving yeah. and that was very intimate, but this was the first time it's like a famous medium where I was just really like, I'm very into that, but like, of course you're not a full believer until you're sitting there. Are they playing music during no, this? No, it's, it's just silent. silent. It's, it's basically like a little, like picture like a cafe, like okay. a little loungy area. And Everyone she's just, just had walking a seat. through and people are just like yeah. hanging out. Is um, it candlelit? Like, no, it's just a No, it was like it was imagine just, like a like an empty restaurant with like tables and boots they and had people food are just like, for us. Like it was just such a casual Are people's responses to like hearing a connection? Are they like, whoa? Like <gasps> No, or not like, really. It was you, like, just like like there was people crying when they had nothing to do with that situation. They was you were just crying for that person because people it was, the seating was basically like a free for all. You sit wherever you want. So there were strangers sitting at each other's tables. Yeah. There was just so many was, connections made with strangers that was so beautiful to see. Like there was a, a, a woman who, oh, it's terrible. Her father shot her mother and then shot himself and they left the kids alone. And she had this like anger built up and she got this closure that was just so beautiful at the end and she just like obviously you never stop thinking about it and if it's like and it's crazy too it's not like she's like just saying things that could apply to anybody so she was talking to her and she was like explaining the situation and then she goes without even asking do you have a brother do you have this she was just like and what's what's going on with your brother's brain mm -hmm. what, what happened with his brain not even knowing that she had a brother but she was like yeah my brother had a like a brain tumor that had to be removed whoa so it's like it's not broad in the sense that it could just be applied even when it comes down to just the medium that you guys had at that like thanksgiving dinner to yeah. me that's crazier than anything you guys are telling me with Teresa could put like that to me was just like that was scary of yeah. how close it was, he got it was scary to, because like obviously it was like directed towards us like this yeah. was just her with other people but i would imagine it was the same experience yeah. that they had right. were you guys nervous um i was anxious during the day and, but once that first person got read, I was like, I don't need it. Read me. I would have loved it, but I didn't need it as much as these other people. I can't believe what people go through. Like, you just don't. Just all the yeah. trauma in that one room that you don't know. Yeah, that you just everybody know. in there went through, like, these crazy life experiences. You can tell that at one point she was, like, starting to close out. Like, she was just, like getting tired like it's I'm sure it's exhausting she explained it like it was an out-of-body experience like she says like she's not really fully present it's just she's talking to these people and she's relaying the message like the guy from Thanksgiving they're just yeah. relaying messages her sister she wasn't supposed to be there because she didn't want to be there because she doesn't talk about losing her sister and she's never talked about the people that she works with she never brought it up so nobody really knows and she said her sister said like she would never speak up. So she made Teresa turn around and be like, I know your sister passed away. She's at peace. Like all this stuff. And the girl was just like. Just stoned. Like, yeah. Because she was like, your sister's telling me you would have never spoken up. Even if I asked you like, did you lose a sister? She would have never said anything. Crazy, dude. Yeah. I think these situations are, it's really hard for somebody to understand it until, until she turns there. to yeah. you, beelines for you and says yeah. something completely yes. out of pocket where nobody would know about you. Yes. And then you're just like, okay, that yeah. was really weird. Like, how would anybody know this? Because yeah. I have it's not a, talked a, about it's this It's the same anybody. thing. Like, I always felt the same way until I met that guy at Thanksgiving and like, completely changed my life. Because Heath is the a big is, uh, skeptic on right. that yeah, type I, of shit. I, I feel like I put myself like in a situation be like, 
How real is this? Because like you right. always hear stuff about it, and you're like, "Well, think, they could be googling. They could want- be looking ahead. They could be doing right. this." Right. Like, obviously, like yes, you could pick it apart however you want. It was somebody planted. It was this. They know all about it. It's to put on a show to make everybody think this. Think whatever you want, which is the way I was. I bet she saved that other girl for her back pocket though. At the end, like she I said, she knew that already going in, but think- then she like wanted to like. But how did she know? But still, knew- there would be some sort of. The she thing knew. is, the thing she is, knew. it's so hard to explain. I was very fascinated with like, she would, it wasn't like she would go up to one person and be like, okay, you're next. Let's unpack this. I'm going to go to the next person. It was very much like somebody with ADHD. It was like, she would stop halfway and turn around and be like, I'm sorry. And like this and this and that, let me go back to this. It was all over the place. Isn't that similar to what the guy also did at your thing too? Yeah. yeah. It's just like, they hear these things and they're being told these things and they're like, I got to get it out of my I brain. want to believe, I do want to believe it. And same thing. We're like, yeah, I can't I wait for that moment. I do it. think there's a strategy. There's a strategy. There's an act. It's kind of, there's a, there's a process right. of how I, they no, do no, it. I know. And I completely understand. It's just, it, think about this. Think about this. There are people coming to your show. It's not like a whole strategize. She gets faces and names who are showing up. These are people that are coming into a lounge. You sit wherever the hell you want. Yeah. You expect her to memorize information and faces from a sheeter to me- to practice no. before she comes into. That's literally impossible. Uh, have you ever seen televangelists over? Uh, they run a whole business doing this stuff, going around, and they have people that are mic'd up. And they yeah. know everyone who's there. They have people who are doing research of everyone who's also in the room. And I totally, they, I, I totally, obviously. And I'm not trying to rain on no, the yeah, yeah, yeah. I, uh, Did you guys get name tags? Were you names checked no. in? There, was a, there wasn't a list of anything for to well, you get just there. Got people in, were invited. You just got in. Yeah. There was a list. She, she, yeah, she she had a plus one. She brought Heath. I would no, love he to see invited. her then <laughs> her, film her film her in New in Times Square and just film her walking around and going up to people. I'd she, love to see I her. Feel, in I feel occasion. like she would do that in a heartbeat. She then does why, that. She, then why are you cashing in on like making a whole damn show in a she's business? She's not cashing in. It, she has a lifetime show coming out and she's promoting it. If you ever have the chance to see her in person, I recommend going. She's so normal and it doesn't seem like a whole production. She, for being she such looks a, a little, she doesn't look that normal. She just, that that's actually, it's very she's Long, Long Island. Island. Yeah, 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 everybody yeah. looks like that. Yeah, she's very the nails, the hair, the makeup. That's just who she is. Yeah. So she's she's Catholic. She believes. She just told everybody, "I believe in God. I don't care what you believe in. I just want everyone to take away something from today. Whether that's making a connection with a stranger, you can walk out of here not believing me, but." She likes the fact that people walk out making connections with people and like yeah. having that. Uh, what is it called? Trauma bonding or mm-hmm. whatever. She she wasn't. That's on my mind. Why don't you go solve a murder? Well, I, they just. She doesn't. It's not. Like, she even says she was like, if I knew the lottery numbers, of course I'd be going out and doing. Like, she was like, it doesn't work like that. But I know. Yeah, I know. I, yeah. Well, no, but no, I'm no. just like That's saying where, it was. But no, I want to believe it, and I think I would find closure if I like. I would love for my grandma to speak to me. I would love if my aunt Mary Lou just passed away. Just could talk to me. It was just cool to see the details. It was cool to for her to not be so broad. Yeah. It was very specific things of like I feel like when you're there too, it you could probably tell when it literally looks like something uh, something is just feeding them information. You know what I mean? Like I know, there's a, I'm there's so, a difference between memorizing and yeah. learning and then spewing out and then just saying whatever is being rece- like transmitted to you. But for that information to be that accurate. Yeah. I need to see the system. The difference is like the guy that was at Thanksgiving would get names, numbers, dates, and he would just spit stuff out. Hers is different. She would get like signs. So it's not like yeah, a direct. Yeah, they're very different it's not mediums. Like, hey, tell them that uh, there's a heart shape locket and I miss them and they're doing great. That's not what she hears. I think she's, she gets, she's, been, she's been doing it so long that like she would get like some like a symbol or something so, so it would be like a tap on the back of the head would mean she'll say what the symbol she's seeing she's right. like i'm tasting blood which is my sign for this right does that make sense and the person would be like or sh- her thing was fair enough she'll be like i taste blood they left tragically fair enough and they'd be like yeah and she'd be like so blah 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 and she'll keep going and they're like yeah and then she pinpoints exactly what it is i don't know how to explain it i also think it. it's like she's she's fishing and then she narrows down. It's the same thing like a magician does or a mentalist mm-hmm. where you could look at a group of 10 people and like, I'm seeing a red car. The odds of somebody whose parents at some point in their life drove a red car, I think is pretty high. And then you like 
narrow in off of the 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 odds where she's like i'm seeing two people i think the odds of somebody at the table having known everyone dies that sub they know someone who has died it's yeah it's a bit of an act and it's a circus act they've been doing it for the beginning like since the beginning of time and i think she's really perfected her craft mm -hmm. and she knows how to work down it and i know it seems sporadic and informal but that's part of the fucking strategy with it I think. Yeah. I would love to be read by someone like that, like someone that good who's been doing it for a long time. And I just want to see how close they can get because you can only believe only if they, you've done, you've got it done to yourself, right? Yeah. If you see somebody else do it to somebody else, there's really not much you can do than just see emotional reactions. Yeah. And just then you, you, and then you tell yourself if like, if you believe that or not, but if someone came to me and she truly told me something that nobody would have possibly known. It's for me, I'd be like, it's just too good to be an act or Teresa, just another come on over, girl. Yeah, Teresa, bring you, bring yourself and your big hair onto the show. <laughs> no, let's but let's sure get red. If we had her on though. She would be reading like, us so well. Cause she would have done the research. She would have known. Well, no, no but this, us would be easier for sure. Because you can probably, research you know, what you go, yeah. but she does it to random people all the time. It was just beautiful. Like yeah. the amount of people like at the end, like finding those connections and having those things in common with people. It was just like, I just like human connection. And it's just like, whether it's real or not, people still got closure that night yeah. and they felt better walking out. So I think, I feel like that's all that I would love to see a documentary about, um, a documentary about mediums in a way where we kind of hear what every, how, how every medium does it, you know, mm -hmm. like I would love to hear just everything about like how each one does, like how each one connects right. with the past and like every, like every single detail, just, I would love to yeah. just, just watch it all in like a documentary. It's very hard to explain, but it was, um, the best night of my life. So don't ruin it. <laughs> it was the best night of my life. It was the best night of my life. It was just like a dream, life. a dream come true. And we're actually going to get dinner with her next week. <laughs> I wish. Yeah. I, the, 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 uh, why I really want a medium in here is because I just want to see, I just want to see the bantering between the medium and you. And I just want to just hear it. I'll hear always be it. nice to anyone who's like craft that is like, if it's a hypnotist or if it's a magician, I'm not going to be like, if a magician does a trick and I know how he does it, I'm not going to be like, I know how you did that. Like I wouldn't, I wouldn't even be challenging her. I'd be welcoming and be like, yes, 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 yes. And then I would probably talk about it after but i would never lie to her i would never like make her go down a fake chain of events and being like oh my god yes 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 i would tell her yeah. no that doesn't add up yeah um for me it's just yeah it's the and she reads pets she did <laughs> she, she did some dogs it was great <laughs> people were like what the animals coming to her sounds absurd so like i said everyone yeah. just laughed at her and she was like no seriously she people goes i don't know pets. how but it's nice that she is the same person on and off camera yeah like she was like my dream person to meet. <laughs> that sounds so stupid. She was like my dream person to meet and I've only seen her on television. Yeah. She's the exact same person. She's just this like person from Long Island. And like we had a whole conversation with her at the end and she was just so kind. Mm -hmm. yeah, she's, she's just so nice. like such a normal person. We were talking about, she gave us some wedding venue recommendations. Oh cause, yeah. Cause her daughter which, got which married ones? in Jersey. I'm not going to say. Oh, okay. We might do me. it. <laughs> um, <laughs> But yeah, it was fun. So thank you, Lifetime. Last night, I... Well, Heath was talking about how he liked uh, certain posts. And he was like, oh, it, because it had like no likes on it. On TikTok. On TikTok. And he liked it and unliked it. And he's like, oh, God, I just liked the TikTok. And... and um, Zane, Zane was like, and, be careful because they can still see that you like liked it, even if you unliked it. And I was like, especially with people that have like no followers, like you just see that notification. There's times where like I'm watching a TikTok and it's just like something like I don't agree with and I like it by myself. I'm like, oh shit. And then I unlike it. Like sometimes you just like like a TikTok accidentally. Yeah. Not that you necessarily like the TikTok, but you like it just to be able to see it again or like, as like a, a, a save almost. Yeah. I don't know. I like overthink it. So like, that's what happened to him. And I was like, oh damn, like they're still going to see that notification. I was like, next time, just 
uh, f- save it or favorite it. So it doesn't like pop up for them that I favorited yeah, it. Yeah, it just blah, blah, sa- blah. It saves. And, and, and we had that like, discussion. Oh, that's a really good idea. And so I'm going through TikToks and there's a TikTok that I, I like love the audio. It was the one where I was like. Um, that wasn't my friend last night. That, that was, was the, the devil. devil. Uh-huh. And it was like people uh, posting their really bad moments on themselves. And every time I see a TikTok like that, I think mm-hmm. of just like all the bad moments I have. I'm like, oh my God, let me try to think of a way to use it. And I showed Mariah. I was like, oh, I showed her the audio and we were like, oh my God, that'd be so funny. So I favorited it. Right. And then she gets a text from her cousin that shows a screenshot of <laughs> my favorite of the and TikTok. And it like didn't have a lot of likes. So it was just Zane at the top of their it notification. It was her cousin's TikTok. Whoa. <laughs> on my For You page that I had no idea. In no, it Italy, did, right? No, yeah, it, had, Italy. It, it had it had views on there. It, did, it wasn't like a no. Was it? Uh, well, it was like, they said it was at like 6,000 likes, but so you you came up. Oh, and it came up and I and it, and it favored it. And then it showed up that I favorited it. And, and we I, just talked about how you can't see it. And she texts me and she goes, busted. She said, caught in 4K. It's crazy how like that conversation and just her, her letting her hear that audio TikTok was connected boom, boom. like that. Oh, wow. I just thought it was so, funny that like she texted me that. Ooh, She's like, and I've been, busted. I've been saving. Well, he's like, I see the drama Z- TikTok. Save, save, Z- save. Z- save. He's I'm, incognito. And because I'm like, oh, I, got, I can't wait to show this person this. Se-. And it's been tracked all along. And I'll be saving the ones with no likes on it. Mm. Save, <laughs> save. I'm like, just because you like the sound, why don't you just go to the sound and click save? Extra steps. I'm like a boomer. Yeah. Because I, I don't think step. anyone gets a notification on the sound. You know what? I sometimes favor the sounds and they don't show up in like my favorites for the sound. So now I just, I have to like, like the TikTok oh. or something to keep them, to keep it on the top it's of my It's just feed. so funny. Literally the next morning. That like gave me goosebumps when she sent yeah. me that screenshot. I was like, just how, did, about first of all, how did she get this notification? I'm like, it was her it's video. Crazy. That's insane. And then it answered this, the question that. That was just wild. Do you follow her on TikTok? My cousin? Yeah. Yeah. I wonder if like they I wonder if they like give me mutuals like Oh, I'm a oh, they do all. Well, it they, wasn't, they do it wasn't yeah. on my cousin's page. It was a video of her friend that she took in Italy. Okay, and that video on her friend's page went viral. So it wasn't. It's not anybody I'm really connected to. It's not even like, that oh. viral. Like, yeah, <laughs> so small. That's bananas. The algorithm has been getting crazy though. Like, I'll watch a f- video. I'll watch the whole video, and then it'll, every other one is that, is that. I don't know why I've been. I've been watching the. Um, not only the car videos with the hammer swinging. You know, oh. can this car get through this hoop? I'm sitting there like, <laughs> I'm just watching every single it's one getting, of those car videos. It's getting really quick now. Like oversaturate. Like if you watch something for more than two seconds, it's like the next one's like that. The, the next, next one's one. like that. I'm and, like, and I always have to do uninterested because it was just one time I was into it. Yeah. Just one time. Uninterested, uninterested. There's also a stick figure one that, I, that I've, that's been... It won't stop because I watched one stick figure where like this girl's at work and the manager will come and say, hey, can you stay later today? Well, and then she'll go, well, yeah, if you pay me overtime. And it's like this conversation (laughs) at a workplace and it's like, it's different scenarios at a workplace and they just keep popping up and then I'll just uh, watch one of them. Too much. Zane, yeah. Zane, mine is, will the airplane take off on like different types of like oh, runways, yeah. but it's like oh, a yeah. building that's like this big and it shows all the airplanes just I'm falling. I'm surprised your- I haven't seen that one yet. But I'm, yeah, I've I'm been, on that one too. I, like, I feel like that's what like kids watch. Like I kids know. watch that type of TikTok and it's just like, that's all my feed uh-huh. has now. Or, or it's like a an audio of something that you're interested in and it's some guy just driving a car through like that little jump thing <laughs> and then they're like getting like, and then you're, I'm just like watching this car do this thing while listening to it. I'm yes. like, what am I doing, man? <laughs> just wasting so much time. I love the girl who like, she's like British and she reacts to like the compressor of like different items getting oh, squished. She's, she's just like, like, oh, yes, that's lovely. No, get it out of here. Done with the glass. Like I love, <laughs> I watch all of those and then I'm just like, why? They'll get you. Mm-hmm. Mm. That's all I had though. We can uh, jump into the unwind. Yeah, let's do it. We could do, do that. Hang out with the cousins for a bit. Absolutely, we could do that. Time, yeah. to, time to unwind, baby. Thank you so much for tuning into another episode of our podcast. Thank you for still being with us. You can check out these episodes audio form on all the podcast platforms every Monday. And then on Tuesdays, we post a video form of these uh, podcasts on our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Zane and Heath. We also have a Patreon where you pay $5 a month. You get bonus content. You get live Q and A's. Mm-hmm. We're also, now we're all, we're on YouTube for the live Q and A's. You guys don't have to register to Crowdcast. It was Super a pain easy. in the ass, but we're not doing that anymore. And it's so nice. You can also watch the live if you miss it you can you can now click the link and you can watch the lies you don't have to like upload the video because half the times it doesn't mm-hmm. save 
we're done with all that. It's so much easier now. It's now straight from our YouTube and um, it's like an unlisted link. Awesome. Um, yeah, we do a bonus episode every single month. We've got the live Q&A every month. We do these unwinds. We keep the cameras rolling. It's an extended version of the podcast. Behind the scenes stuff, little updates. And uh, yeah, it's a great time. Patreon.com slash Zane and Heath. Thank you so much. And we will see the unwinders in five seconds. Love you. Bye. Bezos. Peace. XOXO. Gossip Boys. Mm.